Our neighbor to the south, Guam, has had cases, even death related to fentanyl, and then so we heighten our ability to uh, educate everybody. Our first goal was to bring all the mem frontline people together. The enemies frontliners armed with education and naloxone used to reverse an opioid overdose. While there are no reported deaths linked to fentanyl in the northern Marianas, healthcare and law enforcement officials are wasting no time in preparing for its impact when the drug reaches the island shores. There's two things that that concerns us very much. Um, yes, I've been doing this a long time and I've, I've seen bad drugs, but I've not seen a drug that's bad and deadly at the same time. That uh, immediate attention needs to happen or the person will die. So that's one concern. The other concern is that these drugs, unfortunately, are not usually drugs that somebody can go down the street and buy from a dealer. They can be ordered. They can be ordered through the dark web. They can be ordered, and most of the cases in the states of young kids, they order it through social media. He said more of the life-saving medication is on its way to the NMI, so they're preparing the front line to use it if they have to. So that anybody that wants it um, should have access to it. And what I mean by that is that family members would know if their loved one is using drugs or not drugs. So. If they're using their, their, their loved one is using drugs, arm yourself with Narcan because you never know if they're going to get in touch with uh, an opioid. Tomas Manglonya, KUAM News, Saipan.